They say they pay you money to go for party, can eh? How much? As this guy got on all fours with like a leash, like rich people in Dubai, they will pay like girls to like eat. They can eat like five security guards because people will. With over 2.8 million followers across TikTok, Instagram, YouTube and Twitch, our guest for today is best known for her cosplay with fans all over the world paying hundreds and thousands of dollars for her to slap their face, step on them, <laughs> push them against the wall and whisper into their ears. You might think, wow, that's so personal, but I assure you, today we will be getting even more personal with our guest, Ruru Sapa. Welcome to the show! Hey. Guys, I'm Ruru. Nice to meet you. I'm a cosplayer. Yeah, you know <laughs> no way, they yeah. came out someone else actually. So they are now getting very surprised. When you actually started cosplay, you were only 19. So around 18, uh, 17, 18, like that. Oh wow! But when you got so into it as a hobby, years, right? I think you shared another interview that you actually hid it from your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I mean, the story is kind of like, you know, I mean, I was 18. I wasn't really super young anymore. La, but okay. like, I don't know why I need to hide from her. So. I say, yeah, I say. Probably. I don't know why I mean, I don't know what she, how she will react, right? So yeah. like, I'll just, you know, the cupboard, then you got hang all your clothes, right? Then I just go behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it was only one costume like, at that point of time. But yeah, she found out anyways. Basically, she barged into my room. She said, bam. Then I was in full costume. Oh. oh then, as what? Uh, I mean, it was from, uh, it, yeah, it's NA from Kageru Project. It's them old series. Is this slutty right? kind of one? Or no, like, no, no. Okay, it's, okay. like, it's, okay. it's like an Adidas jacket kind. Oh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay, yeah, that's okay. Then, uh, yeah, I was waiting for a reaction. She's just like, oh, quite cute. Uh. Oh. Then she closed the door. Then I was like, oh, I Wait, guess I don't need her anymore. No, what was the purpose of opening the door? I mean, your mother don't open the door. They just like to read you. you <laughs> Actually, I started cosplay full time because of Patreon. But like, I didn't start Patreon with the intention of wanting to do it full time. It was like more of a uh, pocket money. Pocket money mm. plus like people in cosplay community they fund the their favorite cosplayers costume. Cosplay outfits damn expensive, right? I think it's like I mean the cheap one maybe like hundred or less. Oh, oh that's, that's cheap. Uh, that's cheap. Yeah. yeah, it depends yeah, on how complicated it is. What uh, was the most expensive costume you've ever? I just calculated recently. It's like oh. around two point five SGD. 2.5k SGD, sorry. Whoa. For the, for, <gasps> but everything for is custom made. Yeah. No, you see, I get that. I get the ones where they build stuff, they use right. cardboard box, then they make a giant ass gun, that kind. Okay. Okay. But for those where people just buy the costume, then you wear, right? Then it's like, if it's, is it just Halloween though? No, but it's an Optimus <laughs> oh Prime. That kind of, you can become a yeah, chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine like- No, if if no, no, that one is usually for me one. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, if you do Optimus Prime, I think maybe that one maybe need 5k. For good quality lah. Okay, okay, okay. It's like, there's different quality. One is cardboard, right? But the other one is like 3D printed. Do you remember the very first cosplay event you attended? It was actually a tiny event. I went with zero friends because I didn't have any cosplay friends. I mean, you can't oh. go to just like a regular friend and go like, you wanna cosplay with me? It's just damn weird. Or maybe I was just like introverted <laughs> AF. I never yeah, asked. No, it's damn weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite weird. So I, I just went on and like the first group, of friends that I actually met there were like office workers. Like oh. they were like 30 something. And that's how I kind of like started. People start around 12 or 13. So oh, I find shit. it difficult to like hang out with them. Right. So like ended up, I make friends with the older people who are cosplaying. Right. Yeah, that was yeah, my- costume also more key because they got money. Yeah. yeah, of course not. It's not money. Yeah. <laughs> when I first realized cosplay was a thing that existed, right? It was thanks to all the Hansa uncle photographers. Oh my God. Right? Oh, then, what then they would post lah because uh, the ones that get most viral usually are those that- A bit my, more sexy. My yeah. time is those Sailor Moon. Right, right. That, that you are cosplay, right? Oh, like okay. Sakura Cup Captor, that kind. Okay. And then they will take like super, super low angles and, and the, and it's like mini skirt puffy as shit. Uh, like a bit more, a bit more see the that right, kind. But like, right. have fun. Yeah, so like, is that not weird? You okay. think weird not? Weird lah, it's weird. Think, of course it's weird lah. Why you have to ask <laughs> yeah, this yeah, question? A lot of people like, very happy to post for, oh, yeah. for them. It's my think question. I think this is the thing, right? I feel like when I was younger, I was more okay with being sexy. But mm. as I grow older, I become more conservative. And like mm. when you go to events, right, you kind of do like measures. Like you do measures so that even if people take upskirt or whatever, right, it's like oh, and it's just your safety shots or yeah. like the pom pom is like big enough to like cover your whole butt. Yeah. Mm. But there are girls who like want to wear like bunny suits or whatever. I mean, it's up to them, lah. Yeah. I mean, you cannot avoid perverts also. So how do they like those those photographers that show up for these events, right? Mm -hmm. And then many of them like manage to gather a bunch of people together. How does these things happen? Are these like pre-planned <laughs> stuff? Or, or like photo war? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so having a, lot of, having a lot of people like crowd around you, yeah. so the cosplay is in the middle and a lot of people are around you, right? They call uh-huh. it a photo wall. Okay. So like a lot of people take out their handphone or like cameras to like right. take photos of the cosplayer. In Taiwan, you can see the, the big one is really like 360 like circle of people just taking photo of people's back view. I don't know what they're taking. Like, right. Let's not comment on that. Yeah. But it's quite common for that to happen. It's not planned one. It's I like see. sometimes oh. you're just pretty or like people think your just costume like, nice. Yeah. They just want to take. Right, then so you, you just, just connect a picture of you, then you just, yeah, sure, yeah, then you, you just, just like go post. into character. Yes. I what see. character is that? I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> your, your character is Tell me. I'm very constrained by the space. I think there's a guy that takes picture of John Paul before that likes to post like this. Wow. There's this guy in Singapore that likes to take picture with people and then he do this thing. You see, yes, yes, yes. I he's, think he's so. He's part of the professional paparazzi group. Oh, professional yeah. paparazzi. They are this same Dude, group of like five too. to ten people okay. that just want to take picture with anybody yeah, yeah. who is anybody. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's not even like that fact because like clearly they are there for the real celebrities, right? But when I leave, right, then oh, I know that one, that one YouTube one. Then they just run really, like they don't give a f- nobody else know what only this guy know. What, then they what just in the run. photos? They collect, collect. Huh? like yeah, Pokemon and that. It's like a Pokédex. So when you started doing actual cosplay events, right? Do you remember the first fan that came up to you and requested for the can you like slap me or can you <laughs> step oh, on oh me? How did that even <laughs> start? <there? laughs> like, what was what happened? <laughs> what was the first test? Oh, um, actually, I feel like this thing is quite common overseas. Eh? But like, it's oh. not just not popularized in Singapore yet. Oh. And I think that it started, okay, there's, there's two reasons I feel. <laughs> one is, you know, after the Ara Ara trend, there's this uh. whole mommy trend going on on TikTok. Mm. Like, yeah. Sorry, can you summarize, summarize Ara Ara for me again? Ara. So Ara Ara is just like a voice line for like Sexy. big older sister in like anime or like mums. Low key dominatrix kind of. Not really. Sometimes it's just like a <laughs> normal. It's not sexual. Yeah, so it's, it? it's not meant it's to be pirate. sexual. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it's like it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be anything. Oh, what is it? It's yeah, just a voice line. It's just you saying ara ara. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, like, I see. Like only Chan. Yeah, ah, same, same okay, Chan okay, similar. Okay. I want yes, to. Yeah. So you're like calling somebody. <laughs> you're like calling somebody. It's just that ara ara. It's kind of like oh my. That whole thing we get. Trend, yeah, so like voice lines were popular on TikTok. Okay, so okay. I got right. popularized because of that. Then I after that, be, there, there's a whole trend of like mommy things. Like Then like people started <laughs> commenting like degenerate stuff. It's like, step on me. I I want this woman to, I, Be- uh, yeah, I, want, yeah, I want this <laughs> woman to slap me. Chest. Yeah, so it's like, it came from there. I feel like it came from there. So you were just you following the okay. comments. <laughs> what do you mean? It came from comments and you just said, okay, let's meet in real life. No, 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 it's like, then you know, oh my she God. Practice yeah, I practice every day, like, go Muay Thai and everything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He also go Muay Thai. So you're okay. It won't be After that, it was kind of a, you no know, offline events. I kind of, I, I remember that particular event, it was called Campus Legend. And it was like the first booth after COVID. Mm-hmm. Ah, so okay. people were like, pick of their degenerateness. La. They never go out for very long already. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Okay, okay. so like, I think the most memorable one is like, cause like I stream most of my events. So like on Twitch, live stream. So like I'll put the stream there. And then like, there's this guy who like got on all fours with like a leash, like his friend just like holding him. And then he's just like barking. Like that's how he arrived. You, you and then, what year was this? <laughs> Then yeah, then he barked la, Then he's like, arr, arr. Then after that, like, he's like, please step on me. Then after that, like, I just stepped on him and it was the first time, I think. <laughs> but that was free? It was on stream. Yeah, that it was, was the first free. Like, <laughs> 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 I got police here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were on his back. His back. What? Yeah, on, on his, his back. back when he's yeah. on his boss. <laughs> there was a stream going on. There's like 1,000 people looking at this guy barking. Can see his face. Can see the face? Can see. He okay. It's just- That was all part of it. Yeah, it's- Quite funny, and now you hang out like what on weekends? But outside, not right. She makes a very convincing dog bark. Eh. Hey, try, try that one. You was, <laughs> but after that, you have to say that on me. <laughs> yeah, I can, yeah, can't yeah, go one without the other. I can do a like. <laughs> That's then, quite cute. Okay, eh. That took a hey, thanks. Hey, but she yeah, learned a lot of languages. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she can really like translate. <laughs> I learned this because I had to bark at my dog. Oh my god, why? No, why? because the dog barked non-stop and we realized that the way to ask him, get him to stop is What's if I bark back. Dog? Then he cannot comprehend it. Oh my god, same as my right. cat. Yeah, my cat like to scream at me, so I scream back at him. How to scream like a cat? He don't scream like that outside of my door. And I'm like, hey, stop it. Uh. This show become <laughs> I'm like, hey, stop. Uh, Can stop. we just clip a compilation of all the noises so far? <laughs> 
Okay, sorry, let's go back. Wait, let's go back. 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 let us Okay, so it became a meme. Okay. That was how it started. I mean, like people like to like share this kind of weird right. things, right? So that right. clip went viral. Yes, that clip went viral on Twitch also. This kind of people, they would just like come to my stream or like streamers or whatever. They'll come to my my booth and you'll be like, hey, it's of me, eh? just for content. Right. Oh, so it's not yeah. a charge that. Oh no, I'm not a charge. I never charge my friends. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, wrong stuff. Wait, you never charge your friends, sure? <laughs> yes. But you started to charge people. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a bit lazy. Oh, uh, okay. you do oh, you know how tiring tiring to no, no, I tell you, when I went to an event, right, there's a menu, like a red card. Yeah, right, yeah, so then there's a lot of merch. So you're expected to see how much how, how much is the t-shirt. Uh, uh. Then after that, this is the price if she slapped you. <laughs> this is the price if she stepped on you. How like, much? How much? I must, like, like I you must. mean it's like purchase, yeah. purchase with purchase like that? No, no, no. no, you, no. Can, you can just pay for the slap. You can just pay for the slap. And a lot I of people, see. the slap one actually quite funny because a lot of friends will just like buy for their friends. Oh, oh yes. it's like the yeah, the slap And I, a lot of people are like, oh, do you really step or not? Do you really step or not? I'm like, yeah. Like then you already pay already. Of course, I'm going to give my all, man. You really slap one. I really slap one. Is it on the face or? I don't believe. Slap face. Oh okay. You them. I was. I will ask them like, oh, do you want me to do it like hard? Then most of the time it's like, just come. Just I mean the guy. I don't know what. Then they'll be like, oh. But girl, ask you to slap. No, usually girls they prefer like cabidon or step. Yeah. What step? Cabidon is the other. Yeah. Yeah. That was them intense. That was them intense. She had a whole lesbian moment. I could see in her eyes. It's like you against the wall, then the the other person like. They call it the wall slam. Then you whisper sweet nothings. Yeah, yeah. What, what did yeah, she respond yeah. to you? Something yeah. like you're a good girl, or like you're a good uh, girl, uh, something like that. <laughs> and like I'll play the, you know, the careless whisper. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was so intense because her move very big. So a lot of people got those move right the size of this table one. Then hers is like. 2X. Like they have yeah. this room, like yeah. half this room. Mm. Yeah. That's why I paid for Sherm's, right? Die. And she's like, okay, your turn. <laughs> then they press this music and it's so Loud, right? Everybody will just, yeah. everybody will just turn. Yeah, that turn will like, uh, What's going on? <laughs> then she just slowly, 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 she bang the wall. Yeah, the music is so loud already. Eh. Yeah. Then she just bang the wall. Then you can see like, she's intimidated. Hey, no, no, no. Then she no. tell us even for a quick second. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Then I'll be over there filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So our next community meetup, right? John. <laughs> We sure do it in the wall. We got some. I'm not sure if I want this. Uh, <laughs> at least uh, from. No, no, I do, I do. So your mom yeah. has actually also traveled mm. with you on some of this at some of your events, right? Yeah. How does she react to seeing this in real life? She thinks it's funny, eh? Like my mom is a very open-minded woman, you know. Like right. so, like okay, so the first event that we went together was kind of like just normal. She was just helping me around a little yeah. bit. Then the second one, we went to Manila. The line was damn long. I wasn't poofing. <laughs> it was so long. And like people were just taking turns, like coming down onto the floor. And it was streaming. <laughs> Immediately like. <laughs> yeah, so my mom was holding the stream. She was streaming everything. I saw her for your mother. <laughs> So she hold a stream and then like there was some auntie like the I think that her child is like queuing uh, then, like, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> then like she talked to my mom, she's like, Oh, what is happening? What is going on? Then is my, mom, my mom is just like, I don't know, they like step uh, ha, ha. <laughs> I still have that clip on my Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, okay, I don't know what you're saying. It's recorded because it's live stream watching. Yeah. Oh food. my god. <laughs> no, I, I feel like the fellow aunties, right, are like, they bring their son here and then they're like, you know, I raised this boy to be a nice, you know, <laughs> upright man, to be society, to be a valuable member of society. And then he's queuing up to get stepped. Then he's like, sure. So he's, he's going to find fellow aunties to find solace in. No, on top of that, right. Then you right. find your mom, then your mom's daughter is stepping on the sun. <laughs> 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 no, 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 thing is very funny. Even during events also. Even during events, she was like, oh, it's very funny. And then she will film also. Yeah. She'll take out her phone like this. How much money do you think you have made from this fan service? Oh, okay. Purely uh, fan service. I don't know, maybe. Oh, like figures, how many figures? Have, uh, thousands. You because buy that queue alone. Yeah, not everybody buy, ma. Hey, wait, mm -hmm. who bought the, you had the last tier, the $1,000 tier? Oh, no one, no one bought what it. What is the $1,000 oh, tier? Fun, uh, uh, I showed them my feet. Uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a running joke with the fandom. Right. Like, kind of like, you want to see my armpit on my feet. Okay, la, pay, la, pay. La. I right. show you. Uh, monetize, monetize. Yeah, mm. you want to see, you better pay. <laughs> she's a very interesting character because she's so frank. Yeah, she's playing a character. Right. Yeah, How you like, know this is a character? Very, very deep. Like, <laughs> like by, by cosplaying, you know what I mean? By, your, mm. by being someone's auntie. Like that, that you are you are playing a certain character. And yeah, you you break the fourth wall all the time. Isn't funny, lah? I just think that people think it's funny also. I've heard that you've had a prince 
from Dubai propose to you. Oh <gasps> my god. God damn. Oh. Wait, is it real what? It's real, unfortunately. Fortunately, it's unfortunately. 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 They offered me a large sum of money to like for someone go to a party, that's mm. common. Or like they want to marry. Don't know why. Maybe they just need like another 14 more wives. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's allowed, lah, but yes, you get offers here and there. Oh, how, it's normal. How does what? this offer come? Like in an email, I yeah, am Prince of Dubai? In, something like this. Are you sure? And they then, are oh, yeah, <laughs> not then, the Nigerian prince oh, trying to yeah. Yeah. Or Instagram accounts. Okay, okay, uh, yeah. okay. I have some like famous soccer players, all this kind also. <gasps> or like uh, singers in my DMs. Can you drop one name, but we bleep? I'm just curious. There's one guy from- <gasps> I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. The hey, we also yeah. got some guy. <laughs> no, not very famous. Yeah. Like, oh, one only, uh, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> is it a current, a current player? Know. The singer one is a Japanese singer. They sing for a very popular anime opening. Okay. Yeah, right. they sing out for a lot of openings. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Oh. Wait, then the, the, when they say they pay you money to go for a party, can I, mm. how much? Usually like in six digits. Right. Have you gone okay. for one? No. I don't party. Yeah. And I and a like, bit sus also, right? Yeah, it's very sus. That's why I say like like oh. either they're trying to kidnap or like Or they're going to drug you or something. Yeah, I feel like, like I feel like it's a feel to their tiger. I think like I'd rather like spend my time building my other business rather than doing this like weird stuff that I don't understand. Yeah. I think okay, that okay. I don't understand. So like I don't want to do it. And it's like, you know the Dubai Eat Shit story. The what? <laughs> the what? Sorry, I come again. Can you repeat? <laughs> I saw from Reddit, okay? That like, like rich people in Dubai, they will pay like girls to like eat shit just for entertainment. Like you eat one time, right? 50K. Hey, <laughs> how much do you pay guys? How much do you pay guys? <laughs> five dollars, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I'll pay you 10 bucks. <laughs> and whose shit? Their own shit? Maybe. Like uh, spiking like, hot, then they're like, John. Uh, 50k. Yeah, yeah, quantity? What's the quantity? Like don't one know, cup? Pe- some people like- Tablespoon. But it's very disgusting like everything about it. The more sure. you eat, you're yeah. gonna throw yeah, much. Yeah, about it. <laughs> we are talking about it, you're yeah. not pretend. Yeah. Huh? But our sum and your sum is totally different. <laughs> Doesn't matter. See, yeah. see what you're going for. Yeah, is there an offer? I think 50k here, okay. Or less. I think Jared will be on the flight there anyway. <laughs> For the business <laughs> class, like, that's it. No, yeah, sorry, go on. Any Dubai person can call him, ah. Uh. <laughs> and, and he won't reply. If she don't want to fly, then he'll video call you. He'll video call, please. He'll make his own shit, then he'll eat it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, my. What are you going to do? I, yeah. I want to share out the 50 We were not that close, uh, really. <laughs> you were in a Korean agency that was training to be a K-pop idol. Oh, not really idol, but training like for like influencer work. And so I've heard that you know your perfect face angle. Oh. So our question is, are you able to teach us how to find our perfect angle? Wait, what's angle? your perfect face angle? So let's like, say the camera is there. What's which one? Which, this one the middle one. I think something like this. Oh. I think I think the the training mostly do like, really like. <laughs> oh my God. Close, 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 close. I got the camera in the screen. turn. <laughs> <laughs> Training mostly lies on like micro expressions. Like just a little bit like, how do you make this like, um, how do you make a, just only eyes like, how do you look like you're grateful? How do you look like you're happy? How do you look like you're sad? With only eyes, how to look like oh, you're I grateful? I have so little range though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay, oh, no. it's close right here. Yeah, you're racist eh? Me. <laughs> okay, you cover your face Self-esteem. Now. Okay, you cover your mouth. Then you're gonna tell me to open my eyes. <laughs> got a lot of eye movement, but actually it's only his eyebrow moving. That's why it was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The eyebrow is like, yeah, it's a quiver. <laughs> okay, good job, good job. So you're just 18. a student, yeah. you're not doing anything, nothing to do. Then I'll you just see graduated. all influencer training. It wasn't really an influencer training. It was just like, oh, do you want to like improve in like doing influencer, work, doing, do, right. doing modeling stuff. Okay. So like that was the route. La. That was and the was route. And was somebody reaching out to you to ask yes, you Yes, it was scouted. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Oh, the wow. street kind. No, no, no. It was like true. Like mutual Steven Lim. Okay, okay, yeah, sure, okay. mutual friend. Yes, uh, kind of, but like uh, not like that lah. Yeah. Wait, then how, you need to pay lah. Like. No, no paying. They pay us allowance. Oh, they pay oh, you. Oh, there's some real ass scouting right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They oh. give allowance to like buy clothes, try different lengths of shoes. Okay, this is the training part, right? So like you'll try like from like, which heel height is like the perfect for your for your feet and for your body type. Mm. Then you try from like one to 10 to like 13. Which one is the best for you? But what is it need for them? They pay you and then, and I mean, initially also. it's kind of like, they invest in you to possibly earn money from you. Lah. It's kind of like agency. After lah. that they will find you as a talent. Yeah, okay, after okay, that they will okay. find you as a talent. Okay. So when I, uh, I ended my contract, lah, so that didn't happen. Okay, so they basically begin by optimizing every part 
of, of, of your appearance. Correct. Okay. So it's like you can talk, you can maybe speak in different languages and then you can pose, you can act, then you can dance, you can sing. So what it's was like, the hardest part to optimize for you? Hardest part? Uh, probably languages. I feel like that was difficult because I need to go classes. Wow, and they pay you all. That's fantastic. Yeah. Eh. How do yeah. I sign up? So the oh, way you don't want that. Yeah. Mm. No, sorry. It's like, <laughs> sorry. The schedule is really like 10 to 16 hours a day and like you're constantly oh. being filmed because they are monitoring every single one of your moves. They'll be like, oh, at like one hour, 53, 53 seconds, you, 53 minute and 23 seconds, uh, you look the best. Can you recreate that face again? What do you mean? Like they put camera on your room? Correct. You just film yourself also. And then like oh. when you're doing things or like when you're filming a video. So like we do a lot of like mock YouTube videos also. It's like how you talk, what kind of accent do you want to put on? What kind of face do you want to make? All this kind of thing. It's like can train one lah. It's like even accent also can train. So the way that you talk oh. now is totally different from the way that you spoke you when you speak. were in school. Yeah, very different. Even now also it's like, um, I think I'm doing more of a Singaporean accent. The sure. conversational one. Yeah. It's intentional, it's like conscious. Yeah, but if you want me to talk in a more neutral accent, I think that's fine too. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But even Chinese also, there's different types of accents. There's oh, Taiwanese yeah, yeah, accents, yeah, yeah. Chinese mm. accents. So when you when you got into all this cosplay thing, right? At what point did you realize that I'm famous? When my aunties and uncles asked me what the hell I'm doing on TikTok. Oh, thank God. I thought they asked you to slap them. During Chinese <laughs> no, they ask me, oh, you're not doing TikTok. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Are you on TikTok? I'm like, who tell you one? Uh. <laughs> but I realize it's a public platform. Anyone can yeah, see yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. So yes, they found out on TikTok. That's kind of when I realized that, oh my God. Were you embarrassed? Uh, yes. But I think my mom talked to me after that. She was like, oh, but it's a, it's a job, what? Oh, your mom is oh, fantastic. Your mom yeah. Very yeah. My mom yeah. is really, she's a solid woman. Maybe at first also she fully don't fully understand. That's mm. why I also invited her to go to events with me mm. so she can see with her own eyes like what I'm doing. Yeah. I have like hundreds and thousands of products that I need to pack. Now, of course, got like managers and stuff like that who yeah. will help also. Mm. But last time it was really, my mom will come down also then she'll pack everything very neatly. She's like some auntie, you know, she's right. like, Oh, the S size put here. Put the box. <laughs> oh, the size put here. Oh, so when we put so there, cute. we can see the S size where, you know that kind of thing. It was very helpful. It was very yeah. helpful. How do you explain to her at the start, right? Mommy, I'm making money out of doing this. Out of doing this? She's just like, oh, can we money can already? Oh. <laughs> when she started realizing that I can make money out of this, I think mm. she was more like, okay, do lor. Like, mm. anyway, it's just a cute hobby to her. Yeah. But oh. it escalated to become a full-time job. La. But like, she wasn't against it also. She was never against it. Mm. which I think was surprising also. La. You did share in another interview that your first business move, business move that you ever made, right? Oh, my was Instagram to story. Huh? Hire a male oh, manager yes, yes. to do your pictures. Why? I feel like it's definitely a more male dominated feel. La. I feel like males and females always have come up gender norms or like gender mm. roles that they eventually fall into. It's like mm. females are a little bit more feminine, like kind mm. of thing. I don't really mm. want to listen to her maybe, you know? So I thought that to balance it out, I need a male manager. That was my first move. I was like, I need a male manager. So now I got three managers, two in Singapore, <laughs> okay. one female and one male, and one more in Philippines because that's the second most like uh, country that I visit the most mm, and I right. get gigs from there. So like, I thought that it would be a good business move to like get another manager there. There's a very huge culture difference when I went to Philippines. Mm. Like the people were crazy. I need like five security guards, not even joking, not even exaggerating. Wow. I need like five security guards in a con because people will grab me like this. And what then they- What they want? They just want to say hi. <laughs> what they want? They grab you and say hi. Yeah, like, they just want to say hi. They want, they want like, you to wave to them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, yeah. Actually, then, at which point you realize like, you, you should get security guard. Uh. Like, <laughs> like, she got kidnapped. It's then Ziva to decide like, okay, I'm going to go for a convention, so I'm going to get security guard. Like, no oh, one yeah, thinks yeah, like yeah. that. Okay, right? so the first time I went to Philippines, they gave me one security guard. Because okay, usually okay, okay. Like, I'm, a, I'm a guest, then like they will be like, okay, uh, each guest will get like one security guard, uh, something okay. like that. They are very considerate one. I see, I see. So like, <laughs> and like, I realized the one security guard is not enough eh. Mm. Then like, because like, people can still Keep touch me one and side stuff and like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when we went for the second time to like a big, super big event in Manila, then we told the organizers, hey, we need minimum like two or three people, but they're giving me five. Right. Like wow. really like the security guard, like, wow, oh, I feel like a, a superstar. Yeah, yeah. Eh. <laughs> like a superstar. They formed the photo wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They formed the wall around <laughs> uh, me. Then they really like, hey, push people around and stuff like wow. that. But Ooh. it's very surreal. It doesn't feel real once you go back to the hotel. It's kind of like, what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> but people are very, very friendly and very, very excited to me. I think you actually mentioned that getting into cosplay and all this, at the age where people are still living out their life, at the age where they realize mm. they can start to party legally, <laughs> they can drink and all that. And you shared that you felt that you did lose out on your youth because you were growing your business. I feel like a lot of people who start working young, 
mm. might relate to this. Mm. Like I started working when I was around 18 and it became full-time quickly when I was 19. Mm. And like, we all think, you know, you do online, you break kanchong. So like, you feel like, oh, if I don't do this now, I will not be able to grow it anymore. Yeah. Maybe like two years later, I'm no longer relevant. Yeah. Maybe like TikTok already don't like me. People, I get cancelled maybe, you know? Mm. So um, a lot of the things is like to quickly monetize or like quickly get something out of it. So like by doing so, I kind of like, just like throw away a lot of other things that I was doing and just like focus on like getting this, getting myself or like the Rue Summer <laughs> brand to be as, yeah. as good as possible in a short period of time. When you say like throw away stuff, did that mean like having to compromise on like your friendships and all that? I don't think compromising friendship is like the correct way to say mm -hmm. it. I think it's more like we are different phase of life. It's oh, like, cause you're yeah, already working. And yeah, I'm like, I, that's why recently, I said actually recently, like I've been like uh, reconnecting with them because mm. like, now they are working already. Not because like my mm. age is like 18, 19, then I work already, but they are still in like getting their diploma or like in NS. Some people even just got out of their degree only. Yeah. Mm. So mm. now we can get to talk about savings, <laughs> credit cards, <Yeah. laughs> you know, insurance. Yeah. So like- Piles. <laughs> Shares, tables, a BTO. So like a lot of things, uh, conversations that I finally can have with them. So I don't mm. think it's like cutting them off. It's more of like finding the balance mm. between the conversations that you can Waiting have. Waiting for them la. to grow into the stage of life that you're Correct. in. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. But when it comes to say, for example, dating, do you think getting into a relationship decreases your stock in that sense? I feel like my content is not about relationship. Mm. So mm. like, I don't think that like, it should change anything. I, I don't think I'll publicize it that much also. La, because mm. like, because it's not my branding. Up to this point, is there like a business move that you regret? Yeah. Not converting to female audience sooner. I feel like at some point I thought that like, okay, maybe I need to like always do this. Mm. Like always I like, cater to the male gaze because that's my customer base. Ma. But mm. I realized that, yeah, there's a lot of girls who love anime also. There's a lot of girls who like, like funny stuff also. Mm. And like, I'm a girl and I really enjoy like seeing all these like female memes. Mm. Like, it's like Shira Seven, Sprinkle Sprinkle. I think it's them funny lah, but like nobody, <laughs> nobody know. You see, you all don't understand, right? Do you know? You all understand? No, I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I just thought Sprinkle Sprinkle was cute. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> <laughs> because now actually my follower count or like the people who watch my content is like 60% female and 40% mm. male. Right, right. What do you create for the male audience and for the female audience differently? So like for male audience, very easy one. Just like make some TikTok dance can already. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like shake a beat. Show curves lah. But for uh, female audience, it's harder. It's like orgasms. Huh? huh? What? Huh? Try huh? explain me out. What are you what? trying? What? What? I don't understand. Like, me, uh, He's alone in this. <laughs> I think for female audience wise, sometimes you just need to hear it from your own gender that like, we are doing it right. We are mm. we are doing the correct things. Right. Yeah. So I want to be like be part of that also. La. I think it's more like convincing when you hear it from another woman who is already successful. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What would you say has been the most challenging part of your career so far? Staying disciplined. I mean, initially you already said I made like eight TikToks a day, and it's like not considering the fact that those like fail. Mm. Right. Mm. I think a lot of people think that dance TikTok them easier, but like, Bro. but like you have to take like a hundred ticks eh. To find one that is like, oh, I, okay, I think this is damn sweet, or the expression okay, the, mm. the, the right. dance correct, you know, oh. this kind of thing. And then like after that, you still have to edit, right? So I think it takes a lot of effort to do that also. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a different effort, la, different effort. Yeah, yeah. I call it practice creativity, la, I would mm. say. It's like, you cannot expect yourself to like, be creative every day. Every creative person know that you're not gonna be yeah. the same every day. Like you're gonna be like one busting with like 100 ideas. Mm. So because you do it so much or like you do it every day, it's a constant thing that your brain is getting used to. And you just kind of like, oh, okay, got this idea. And then I like, just do it. Maybe it's not like 100 out of 100, but it's at least like 80 out of 100. Mm. Because it averages out one. Of the content that you attempt to film at home, how many actually makes your cut and gets posted? Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I have like 1,200 drafts on my TikTok. Huh? No shit. Really? So if you and delete your TikTok, right, by accident, your draft will all disappear. Yes. That's what ha that happened to her before. Yeah, huh? so many times eh. Two times, Oh yeah, because times. your TikTok was yeah. then. Oh shit. And most of the content inside of my draft can be posted. Right. Yeah. So what does a day in your life look like now? Recently, mm. I've been going to a lot of meetings. I, because I recently started my own startup in a marketing firm. And then I also invested in two business. So like that is what my meeting stop for. Right. And then it's to meet my co-investors and co-founders and stuff like yeah. that. And then when I come home, then I just make like a couple of TikToks. Oh. So how many hours are you spending at home making these TikToks? TikToks are actually quite fast. So I'm, like, I'm not doing high production TikTok. You know, I'm doing like those kind of like renty TikTok. So like when the idea comes, I just take out my phone and film. Right. Mm. Yeah, so it's like, sometimes it takes like one take. Sometimes it takes like two hours and I still cannot get it. Or like I take the whole 
day and then like no video come out. Or like take out, go and scroll my draft. Okay lah, this one today make the cut lah, okay. Sometimes it's like this pity pose. Yeah, yeah, it's really like that. Okay lah, you're very disciplined already lah. That's what I'm saying. As someone that has been like like running content companies, right? I can't imagine having to do that. That's bloody crazy. And so the whole process of the content creation aspect, you do everything yourself? Yeah. Oh, I do have to now. Yeah, most of it. Why oh. do you not want to like outsource begin to outsource them. certain aspects? I feel like I don't need that. I feel like my videos are fairly simple. Like unless I have a client video that like I don't really want to think about or like I just have no time. I, like I look at my hours and I really like logically look at it. Lah. It's mm. like you don't have time means you don't have time. Lah. Or like you mm. need to sleep means you need to sleep. But I, <laughs> it's correct. Like, you're very tired already. Yeah, like, really how you work? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're very tired already. How you going to do this? I have a freelance editor. If I really cannot, then I'll pass to her. Mm. And like, she know my style. So, okay, no? then I'll just pass to her and she'll pass me back in a perfect condition and I'll just post. Before we go, we must share about today's painting, painting of, of the, the episode. episode. So if you don't already know, The Daily Catch-Up is a proud partner of Shaping Hearts, an all-inclusive arts festival showcasing works from local artists with disabilities. And today's very big artwork is done by... Jacob Tien. Hello, Jacob. <laughs> this painting is called Winter Solace. Mm. It depicts a time of rest and renewal. And despite being visually impaired, right, he has painted such a beautiful piece. So if you're interested in more beautiful and meaningful pieces of art such as this, do join us at Shaping Hearts Festival at our Tampanese Hub on the 19th of October. We'll be there and we hope to see you there. Thank you, Shams. No problem. And thank you, Jacob, of course. At the end of the year, on December 7 and 8, I'll have my biggest booth ever. It'll be two times bigger than last year. Wow. wow that's already huge. Eh? Yeah, so we're going to be two times bigger than last year and like we have a lot of activities planned. Like, we're going to have like a shoe cream eating competition. Shoe, shoe cream? <laughs> getting closer. She's getting closer. Getting closer. <laughs> these, these ideas come to me and she like... It's a machine, it's a machine. It's a video shit. We have that, and then we also have like photo booths, mm. custom strips, a lot of things. Custom what? Strips. Photo strips. Hey, relax, oh, photo eh. strips. <laughs> relax. Yeah. No, I was yeah. thinking also. No, I, I, was, I, was like, I like, asked it for the, for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes. So maybe one of the biggest teasers is that, like, you know, I'll be making a lot more new merchandise. And mm. like, the merchandise team this time is Mummy Issues. Oh. So look forward to that. Sexy. Thank you. thank you. So a big thank you to Rurusama for joining us yes, today. Thank you. We will see you inviting. in the next episode. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below who you want to see next. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dream Boys. <gasps> hey, dude, I fing love Dream Boys. Yeah. It's so yeah, funny. It's so funny. Yeah, very long never see your post, but I fing love Dream Boys. I just wanted to plug Dream Boys, guys. Please follow Dream Boys. Okay, come. Come, you I don't know. I'm just like, no, I just, I can't do what you all do. I got too much pride. <laughs>